Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at the backyard of the parsonage. And this is my garden, and these are my volunteer tomatoes. They look a lot better than the tomatoes that, uh, that are right over here that I actually planted and had cages for. And I think part of it is because the, the stems, if they fall on the ground, they put out roots. And so they're really vigorous right there. I just picked about three gallons of tomatoes just yesterday and processed there in our freezer now. And uh, this is vlog number 296 for Thursday, September 14th. And uh, right now, as I'm speaking on Wednesday morning, the, the pie making workshop is going. It's going really well. And the next big event we have is the Church Lady Bag Sale. That's September 23rd from 9 to 1. We have over, I think we have about two dozen vendors that are going to be there. So uh, check out what we have there. And October 1st, three things going on. One is that it is World Communion Sunday. Second is that it is our Fall Fest celebrating Christian education and Sunday school. And third, it is Bring a Friend Sunday. So I want you to think about a friend, pray for the friend, and then invite the friend. If they don't come, that's up to them. But I encourage you to go through the process of praying for someone and inviting someone to come to worship. And uh, our scripture today is one that you heard several times this summer as I was preaching on the parables of Jesus. He would end with words like this. This one happens to come from Matthew 13, 9. Whoever has ears, let them hear. And I've invited Carrie Kuhn to share something that has to do with the parables of Jesus and the seeds. And if you have ears to hear, I want you to hear. Hey, everybody. Today, I want to talk a little bit about just the miracle of a physical seed this seed if you can see it is a, a sweet corn seed now to first of all this seed can't be planted until the soil is prepared so there's much work that has to be done on preparing the soil removing rocks weeds grasses and work the soil so it's really uh, uh, workable um, then once the soil is prepared now the seed can be planted and Additives can be put in, pH for the balance, the fertilizers, firmly pack the soil around the seed. And pretty much that's as much as I could do, unless I want to water it with my garden hose. Now it's up to God to give the increase by the rain and the sunshine he provides. And then I'll, I'm always out there looking for this, the, the plant to start to grow. I see it spike through the ground, it's exciting. I look down the road, make sure they all came up. Anybody that has a garden, I know you do this. It's awesome to watch things grow. So once the corn stalk grows, the sweet corn, uh, it eventually grows a tassel on top. Once the tassel grows on top, about then is when the first ear will start to form. You see a little tiny ear with a bunch of silks coming out of it. Now, this is a really important stage. Um, hopefully there's not rain at this time because the pollination happens at this point by the wind, not so much like insects with flowers. So this is all really cool stuff, how this happens. So when the wind blows, the pollination, the, the uh, pollen comes off of the tassel and it needs to rest on those silks. Now, uh, the uh, silk on the, the ear that you see sticking out, there is one silk representative of where each kernel will grow on the cob. So there's a window of three to five days that that pollination needs to take place. And when it does, the it's like an umbilical cord. It will let go of where the seed or where the kernel is. If it doesn't get pollinated, that silk will still remain attached to that point where it would be a skip, a, a missed kernel growing. Now, the uh, miracle about the corn when it grows, well, here I, I have a, a sweet corn here to show you. Here's the silks we were talking about. And of course, this is the outer husk, the protective covering, so all this miracle can happen inside. These kernels of corn on a sweet corn, there's generally two, two ears on a sweet corn stalk. Now, each ear, as they're called, there's generally, there's always an even number of rows, uh, usually 16, they say. This can vary, um, but 
yeah, 16, and there's like an average of 800 to maybe 1,500 kernels on here. So what I want you to see from this point, we started with this this one seed. It's it's dead. It has no life in it. This could be five years old. You know, it's still it's dead. It needs to be planted, and when it's planted, then it can have the increase of new life and grow into this. So one dead seed can produce two cobs, we'll say with just the minimum of 800 kernels. If there's two ears, that's 1600. So from one, you can get 1600 with life. So this relates scripturally to us. When we go through life and we're lost and we know we can't make it, the Holy Spirit leads us to the foot of the cross. And this is a point in time where we would repent and be born again. And we die to self. Personally, I died to myself. I let everything go. I asked Jesus into my heart and life. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. He, Jesus, is the incorruptible seed. He was planted in the soil of my heart. My soil was made fertile by the Holy Spirit. Jesus is planted in my heart. He took root inside of me. Every day I try to keep my soil fertile. So when my soil is fertile and him playing in there, the increase comes through me from him to everybody around me. Fellow believers for encouragement, leading to others that don't know Jesus yet to get the fertile soil and personally ask him in to their heart and their life. New life as a new creation. What's in your soil? I pray for some miracle grow on every believer. I pray for every believer globally for that increase to come for us and then for the rest of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, so we're sharing uh, cameraman responsibilities today <laughs> in our prayers. Let, let's just pray and you'll hear who I'm praying for. Lord, first of all, I pray for everyone listening to this or watching this vlog that you would be stirring in their hearts the the growth that you have for them and that s spiritual growth will will happen in them we also pray for people who need healing we continue pr to pray for our sister in christ mandy for strength and healing we pray for our sister peggy that we just learned has gone into the hospital and we pray for strength and healing for her and we give you thanks that anita who just had knee surgery uh is coming home and is making has come home and is making progress uh, we thank you for the healing work you do in all of our lives in jesus name amen now you know i like to finish with a song and carrie and i were trying to come up with a song that had to do with corn or maybe mustard seeds or planting seeds and the only one i could think of he knew of one but we didn't quite know the tune the one i know is a johnny appleseed song and sometimes it's been used as a uh, a blessing before a meal and it goes like this oh the lord is good to me and so i thank the lord for giving me the things i need the sun and the rain and the apple seed the lord is good to me amen 